So I just dipped it in water. I will probably add a little bit more so that the pestle is completely submerged. Right now these little parts here are not submerged. But that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be keeping um, the mortar in there, or not the mortar. This is Mexican, mojalquete. Mojalquete, yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep it there for at least three hours. I'm gonna try to resist until four, but I really want to start working on it. So I will probably just wait three hours. So I left the mojaquete in the water for three hours and now I removed it and I'm waiting for it to dry. I think it will take probably two to three more hours for it to dry. This is not as porous as the um, lava stone mojaquetes, which means that it will probably dry faster than the other ones would. So after that, I will green some um rice and probably some spices in it so that i can season it and hopefully i'll get to make them a fungo today so now i'm going to start grinding the rice i added a little bit of water to the rice just because i saw some videos on youtube i mean i watched some videos on youtube and i think it's easier to grind it when you add water so i'll pause it here and show you after i'm done so here i already used the rice and rinse it and now i'm going to season it with some spices i'm using cilantro rosemary and just a clove of is it onion? No. Um, oh gosh. Ajo. I forgot how to say it in English. But um, garlic. A garlic clove. And that's all. So I'm going to use these. Make a little paste. Leave it there. Start cooking. And we'll probably be able to make them a fungo today. So this is the paste I made. And I'm going to leave it there. Uh, while I cook and hopefully we'll be able to make mofongo today. Working on the mofongo. Here I have all the other ingredients and I'm working on it and it's so so easy. I'll show the end result soon. <laughs> 